Australia has rightly condemned the attacks by Hamas, including indiscriminate rocket attacks fired on cities and civilians and the horrific taking of hostages. Hamas do not represent the interests of Palestinians and they do not care about human life. They do not care about the lives of Jewish people who they seek to slaughter. They do not care about the lives of the Palestinian people who they use as cannon fodder for their political aims. And they do not care about the lives of citizens of other countries. Saying that Hamas are a vile terrorist group, of course, in no way diminishes support for Palestinian statehood and a just settlement. Saying this also in no way endorses the legitimate criticisms over many years of the Israeli government's settlement policies or the occupation. All human life is sacred and innocent civilians should be protected. In that context, of course, Israel has an inherent right to defend itself. And it should not be controversial to state that right is not unfettered and does not and cannot justify any action or the indiscriminate mass killing of Palestinians, innocent Palestinians, in response. Australia has consistently and loudly said that Israel must act within the rules of war. Australia has expressed a principled view that Israel and all actors should seek to protect civilian lives. The overwhelming feedback I've had from my community is the concern and the need to protect human life and ensure that Australia's response, along with the rest of the international community, equally values the lives of people in Gaza and innocent Palestinians and Israelis and their collective suffering and loss. I share this concern and in doing so I decry the gross politicisation of this tragedy by the Leader of the Opposition and a certain national broadsheet. An overwhelming message from my community now is despair and terror at what may be coming in the days and weeks ahead and a cry that the mass punishment of two million people in Gaza is not a proportionate response and this is not a trap that Israel must fall into, must not fall into. It is what Hamas are trying to provoke. 